what I do, what I do, what I do. To your eternity, season two, episode two. Things are getting really, really freaking sad. Um, but Tonari's here, so uh, life's good. Not gonna lie, life's pretty good. We got fucking Tonari in the building. Let's get into it. Like in the previous comment said, he's been forty years by himself, bro. Sad. Just sad. And he just ran away the whole time. You know, looking back, he did do it to protect the ones that he... To protect everyone, but it was also a way of him protecting himself to never feel this emotion again. But Tonari. Hey. Pink love. Pink love. Sorry, I like to, I like to listen to this song. <laughs> I let the OP run for the first couple episodes of this season. Oh, what the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no, not the church. Church is always bad in anime. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the truth. Church always sucks in anime. <laughs> it's like nine times out of ten, they're always dodgy as hell. Oh, they're adapted to fight. In the past 40 years, I'm guessing humanity has had a lot of time to prepare and be able to uh, withstand all these waves of these, you know, things that are going after Fushi. So. To protect Fushi. They don't belong to you. How do you know it doesn't even talk to you, dude? <gasps> no! Knocked her the frick out. It's still moving. It's still moving, dude. It reversed so it can run out? That's disgusting. Hold on. Oh my gosh, don't know he's gonna die like this. Where the frick is Tonari? Where's Tonari? Oh, okay, she's good. No, but it's her face. Oh, 
No, dude, not again. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but that's ass backwards, man. Then you're not living. Can't keep living like that. And there's a big key thing to understand you, not use you. It's not. That is true. Yeah, that's, that's the hard part. Oh, fuck. Why is this hitting me? What the hell? <laughs> oh, Google. Oh, the girl. The girl of his dreams. Oh. Oh my gosh. You guys are still there. <laughs> Oh, they're not going to say? They're not going to say it's them? Bro. <laughs> A lot, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh.
Oh my gosh. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. Oh god. <laughs> no. The show, bro, <laughs> hurts, man. <sighs> oh, shit. Damn, now he's impervious to poison. All those poisons. Oh shit, is the book gonna have everything? Tonari. No, you gotta find out. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Damn this show, bro. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> why is that good news? Why is that good news? Attack people that are outside of you. Yeah, they're not going after you anymore. They change game plans. Jealous. Probably not. <sighs> He's an observer. He's an observer. He observes. He's there to observe. <sighs> oh, shoot. Sorry. You killed Tonari. You killed Tonari. Killed Tonari. Oh, I haven't seen the wolf farm in so long. I still don't understand why we fuck with Hisame like this. Like, Hisame is... She was literally about to just take you, Kushi. Like, your property. You're gonna keep this fucked up tradition. What?
What the fuck? No, 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 not like that. Oh, God. I am. This is so creepy, dude. She's like a she's like a product of brainwashing some crazy traditions. I don't know if personally she's evil, but her upbringing and her environment has definitely caused her to be twisted. I don't know if she's high as it twisted yet, but she has the potential to be. They work. You. Yeah, he doesn't understand anatomy. After hundreds, after all this time, you still haven't taught him anatomy. The child of an immortal and a human. Does it create another human? Does it create an immortal? He just reproduce coins like bing 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 bing. So what do you do? He's like an adventurer. He's growing here and there. <laughs> no, not the poo. <laughs> left before the bridge could be made between you two.
Mm. Who are you? Oh. Seriously? Are you sure? Or is it just a master plan? Oh. been that long wow I hope you have. Is that a guy? Yeah. Maybe he'll be different? A dude successor? Still part of Hayase. This is getting weird, dude. This is getting crazy. Like, how many generations have passed? How much time has passed? The, Tonari's friend is definitely dead at this point. How many generations has it been? Uh, he's developing, I guess. You know, he's he's reading books, trying to make connections, but in the end, it's just not fruitful enough for him to want to feel the pain of losing him, of losing them. So he just cuts it off before anything else, before anything gets further. Uh, yeah, uh, this was the whole the whole goal of the Hayase clan is is, is creepy as hell. But besides that, story's going X Games mode <laughs> is the best way to say it. I'm crazy. Uh, that middle part of the story, Tonari, everyone popping up in, in Fushi's forms. Fuck me up, dude. I, 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 I don't know how this story keeps doing it every episode, but every episode, it, it gets me. And this time it really did mess me up. God, I still got some tears <laughs> on the... On the blanket but yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed watching this episode with me and y'all join in the next episode whenever it comes out let's check this preview first wait a second and also the bigger the big question a huge question actually is what will happen what happens to the knocker that's been in Hyas's descendant's arm for the past generations. Will it develop and turn into another Fushi? Will it develop and bear ill will or actually help Fushi? I'm really interested in how that develops. But anyway, I'll see you guys in episode three.